What's up YouTube? It's your boy Juno Ryan coming at you with another video. I'm super excited today because I'm going to do something a little different for you all and I'm going to film a little bit of informative content. So today, what are we talking about? We're talking about changing out the hooks on your lures and why I think personally you should change them out to a single hook. So basically we're going to be talking about three main things, three, you know, I can't deal with my fingers for some reason. Three main things on why I think it's a good idea to change from your treble hooks to your single hooks on your lures. Plugs in particular come with treble hooks most of the time. So to get out of the way first, I'll talk about one con and that'd be the cost and the time it takes to invest in changing out the hooks. You have to buy separate hooks and you have to take the time to actually go inside the split ring and change them to a single hook. But with that out of the way, I want to talk about why I think it's worth it and why I think you should be doing it. So number one, fish are easier to unhook with a single hook. That's pretty self-explanatory because with a single hook versus a treble hook, we're only dealing with two on this lure in particular. You could even get away with one just on the back end and six hooks overall on this lure, on this Rapala X-Trap here. So. It makes a little bit of sense if you're trying to pull this out of a fish, you have six to pull out of versus two, the six is going to be harder. Number two, we're gonna say, I think that you're gonna pull less hooks. In my experience, I pull less hooks when using single hooks on a lure versus treble hooks. What is pull hook, you say? If you don't know, pulling hook means when you're fighting a fish, you have a fish already on the line, already hooked up, and the hook will come out of them for one reason or another while fighting. So let's say you have a fish, you're fighting it, you're fighting it, you're fighting it, and the hook just rips out and they're gone. You have no fish and you're crying. Basically, with the single hook, you have a larger gap. So you're holding on to more meat of the fish versus the treble hook. And I'll show you here in a little demonstration. Let's say you're hooked right here. This is your fish. Imagine on this cardboard, this is your fish your single hook versus your treble hook, that large gap, look at how much more meat I'm hooked up to. You guys see that? That's a big difference. So I have to pull that much harder for it to be able to rip out of the fish's face. With the single hook, it's very unlikely to happen because of how much meat I'm able to grab onto. With this treble hook, I could be hooked up there, kind of hooked in there, and it can just rip out fairly easily. So that is another reason why I think you should switch to a single hook. And number three, which I think is a big deal and very underrated in fishing, is confidence. Confidence while you're fighting the fish is a huge deal because you're able to put that much more pressure with this single hook. So let's say the fish is, you're fishing around structure or something like that you were able to be confident that you can grab the spool and pull on this big fish, this big snook, tarpon, jack, whatever it is, and that your hook's not gonna rip out. Treble hooks commonly rip out, like said earlier. So you may be a little bit more hesitant, and when push comes to shove and you grab the spool, you might be a little bit too late because you didn't have that initial confidence. So those are the three things, what I just went over. Ease to unhook, single hook versus treble hook. You pull less hooks overall, and number three, you have a more confidence while you're fighting the fish. So stick around. I'm gonna explain what these hooks are and where you can find them. Um, one last thing, I highly recommend that you fish an inline single hook versus a standard single hook. So if you look at this right here, this is a VMC inline specifically made for putting on a lure. This, the um, ring of the hook is facing the opposite, or is facing 180 degrees in a different direction for um, where a normal hook, I think actually 90, but a normal hook's eye right here would be turned. And it would be, you would see the ring when you're looking at the hook like this. But if it was like that on this lure, your hook would be sitting sideways and not straight up like this. So as you guys can see, it makes a little bit more sense for the hook to be laying like this, I think you're gonna get a better hookup with it laying like this. It's ready to catch as the lure's going this way. So that's one extra thing. Um, for all of you that are gonna ask, because I know it will be a question, this is a Savage Gear Panic Prey in the large size, and these are VMC single hooks. 
Um, I got these both at Juno Bait and Tackle, a place I get a lot of my stuff from. I'll leave their website in the description. And this right here, this is our Apollo x wrap commonly used. Yes, these hooks are very rusty. I'm gonna be doing a video on how to prevent this from happening so you're not an idiot like me and have very rusty hooks that get dull and uh, just kind of beat up and look terrible. So um, I appreciate you all for watching to the end of the video. That's all the time we have for today, but if you like the video, make sure to like the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to find me on Instagram, my name is at Juno Ryan. It'll be in the description below. Appreciate you all, and I'll see you in that next video. Later.